Cloverdy Cloud Building Productions here with the third and final part of my Welcome to Apocalypseburg review. And this video, I'm going to review each minifigure, all 12. And also, I will give a tutorial on how to make my new Apocalypseburg version sig fig. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into it, Philip DeFranco style. This review is actually going to be a worst to first of the minifigures from this set. So we're going to start with my two least favorite. Not saying they're bad, but this is Roxy and Mo Roxy and Mohawk. So they're just generic Apocalypseburg citizens. Nothing too much about them. They've got the straps um, all around them. Roxy has some metal armor. Not a lot to say about them. Um... I like the Apocalypse for Citizens. It's actually just good to have some more, so not saying they're bad minifigures. I like their inclusion in the set. Just my least favorite. Here is Emmett, who is not exclusive to the set. This is the same Emmett in Emmett's Thricycle, which is a $15 set. I'm really disappointed that we didn't get a face print, but I like Emmett as a character. I'm not saying that he's a bad inclusion. Of course, you have to have Emmett in the set, and of course, he has his cop fee. Which did not make him the last. I mean, it did not make him the worst. Um, but. Lego should have made an exclusive face print. I'm disappointed with this minifigure. Not that it's bad, I, I'm just disappointed with it. But let's it's keep Lucy, going. Lucy, who is the same Lucy as in the other Apocalypse Burke theme sets. But the thing is, she has two exclusive face prints, so that's why she's up more than Emmett. Not that this is a bad minifigure, like the other ones, um, it's just, there's really, really good minifigures in this set, let's just say that. So there's this calmer face, and then there's this face when she's brooding on in the lookout, beginning of the movie, pretty cool detail. So, now Here on his chainsaw, Dave, obviously Surfer Dave from the first Lego movie, um... He has his chainsaw. He has pretty cool skull and crossbones uh, on his chest. He has some tattoos on his arms. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's a broken surfboard um, recognizing his old alias. And then a chainsaw tattoo. Pretty cool minifigure. Um, I, be I believe you could get his original in a, in a set. If not a set, the minifigure series. I never had him anyways, but... Cool minifigure to see the evolution from the Lego Movie 1 to the Lego Movie 2. Here is Fuse, who is a welder. He has the same torso as the guy from the Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard set, but I don't mind, um, because he has this helmet, which has flame printing, which is pretty cool looking. Then he has this face print, which I'm not sure if it's, if it's exclusive or not, but... Uh, if you guys know, tell me down in the comments. But, not much to say about him. He's just a pretty cool minifigure. He has the same legs as Roxy. But, um, his helmet makes him... Bumps him up pretty high. So, now on to... Here we have Larry the Bartista. And I had the original Larry the Barista from the original minifigure series. Um, so this is really cool for me. I He has this mohawk. And by Bartista, I'm sorry. This is... Or barista. So this is gonna. This is gonna ruin the joke, but the joke is if you don't get it, um, if if you do get the joke, skip like ten seconds. Bartender and barista. Okay, so Larry has this, uh, like breathing mask, which is cool. He's got some armor, and brown spikes on the side. His. We can look at the back here. His apron's pretty tattered. Right there in that coffee mug, it's like the evil skeleton face. But, pretty cool minifigure. Here we have Scribble Cop, who is bad cop from the first movie, if you didn't know. His good cop face gets erased, and he draws this Scribble Cop. So, here we have him. He has this leather jacket. Um, that print that's that sticker that's on the uh, police station. There's a print of that on his back. He's got the same armor that Larry did, but um, silver. He's got his scribble cop face. And his bad cop face. 
However, I like his Scribble Cop face better since he's called Scribble Cop. But pretty good minifigure. It's hard to make Green Lantern number four. I wanted to make him number three. But here we have Apocalypse Bird Green Lantern. He has the pauldron and some armor over here. Pretty cool. Just the Green Lantern outfit with some metal, darker, it's darker colors. He has this pretty chill face. And then he has this wacky face. Um, I love this face. It's a great face print. And it's hilarious. <laughs> now we're going to go on to the number three spot. Number 15. No, I'm not going to make that joke. Number three. Third best minifigure in this set. Where are my pants guy? Apocalypse Park version. He has this little hammer. Don't care. <laughs> you had the ability to get him in the first minifigure series. I never did, unfortunately. I always want I always wished that he came in the uh you know, like the final battle set in from the first movie. But he did not. Um, he has the same thing as Scribble Cup. But he has his old floral shirt, um, with just a bunch of belts tied around him. <laughs> And he has, like, I think these are supposed to be overall. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, he, he's just wearing, like, gray underwear or something. I don't know. Um, then he has his black boots. Some metal on those. Um, honey, where are my pants? He doesn't have his pants. So, now on to number two. This is third best man. To put Batman at number two. Because Batman is number one in everything. But... This Batman is almost the same as the one from Battle Already Batman and Metal Beard, except he has arm printing, some more metal, and he's got brown. The arms are dual molded. And the legs are different with the brown. I like the brown of this figure. I like it better than the uh, Battle Already Batman and Metal Beard version, which does not have molding or arm printing I believe now on to number one I think you all saw it coming. number one is Marco Robbie's version of Harley Quinn from the DCEU obviously Suicide Squad uh, take a moment to appreciate this bat with the nails in it tossing that away but this design is just so detailed it looks exactly like her in the movie she even has the Daddy's little monster shirt. We have the hair, two face prints, one mischievous. Like, they're bo basically both mischievous smiles. They have some arm printing, back printing, the classic blue and bluish blackish and uh, red. And back here we have dual molding, dual molded legs. Of course, see your leggings. Very it's a it's it's such a detailed minifigure to come in this set. It's the best exclusive in the set. It's the best minifigure in the set. Sorry, Batman, but looks like your enemy actually beat you. Okay, guys, I don't know how how much time we have left because I haven't edited this video yet, but we're gonna go through this fast. Go that way. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial. I'm gonna go really really fast. I'm gonna speak really fast. So, hairpiece. Larry the Bree stuff from Series 1. Uh, or, the, well, Series 1 of the Lego movie. The first Lego movie. And we have Marty McFly's head. We have this breathing apparatus from uh, Larry, the barista. Then we also have... Or the bartista, I don't know. Then we have the shoulder pads from Larry the barista. We have Gimli from Lord of the Rings. We have his torso. And then these legs from the Apocalypse Berg Citizen in Battle Ready Batman and Mandelbeer. So now we're going to build it together. And there we have it. And if you want to go even more for the Apocalypse Berg look, you can steal Larry's mohawk and do that but for the sake of my opinion 
of which is better. When you see this guy in videos, he'll be like this. So, anyways, Monster Builders, thank you for watching the third and final part of this review. This set is $300, set 70840, welcome to Apocalypseburg. 3,178 pieces. This set is worth it so much. Has 12 minifigures. 12, like, 10 of the 12 are just great minifigures. Um, this, the build is amazing. Great for display. Great for play. It's all you could ever want from a set. But, Master Builders, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell so you never miss another LEGO video. Don't be craggled, and peace out.